Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here to explore the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we're here to explore the Alamo, one of the most important attractions here in San Antonio and in Texas in general. It has great historical significance and is basically a monument to what it means to be Texan. The goal of this video is very simple, to give you guys a brief history of the Alamo, the building itself, as well as the Battle of the Alamo, which is a very important part of Texas and American history. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys with me so that we can see what there is to do and see here at the Alamo and in the surrounding area which I've heard there's a really popular attraction very close by that might be worth checking out so if you guys are interested come with me In order to fully understand the cultural and historical significance of this place, we have to go back many, many years in the past, all the way to the 16th century when the Spanish government started setting up missions here in the Americas. The main objective of the missions was to spread the Roman Catholic faith to the native people of the region and to encourage them to accept Spanish control and demand. The missions were also used to teach locals the Spanish language, customs, practices, and provide for basic education. The Alamo was in fact one of the missions created by the Spanish government. Its original name was Mission San Antonio de Valero and it was established in 1718. In the 18th century, the mission became mainly used as a military base. It was around that time that this place became finally known as the Alamo. It went under Mexican control when Mexico gained independence from Spain. This was the case until the end of 1835 when the Mexican forces finally surrendered the Alamo to the Texian army. The Alamo was besieged by 1,500 Mexican soldiers to prevent this. The Texian army was not ready for this at all. They were unprepared, they were outnumbered, and ultimately they lost the battle. Instead of accepting defeat, the Texian army used that loss as motivation to continue forwards to gain independence from Mexico. The battle cry, Remember the Alamo, was coined after that battle and is well known today. The Texian army would become victorious and gain independence in 1836. And so, the Republic of Texas was born. Today, the Alamo serves as an important historical attraction to this city and also a sacred site that honors those who gave their life in that battle. I think for that reason you can record inside of the church and in other like specific places. I'll make sure to record as much as I can and share it with you guys. So let's go! So this whole section right here, full of people, is Alamo Plaza and it's right in front of the Alamo. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the front and uh, we're gonna try to go in. I know you can't record uh, within the church so we're gonna go like around and see what we can find. See an entry over there and another entry over here. This, like I said, this is a church. We're gonna hold off on this one. Let's go in and check it out. So we're moving to the cavalry courtyard. And here I see a lot of bronze statues. I see one here, there's one in the back. So that's two, three, four, five, 
six, I think, in total. I was reading the plaques of the different statues that I just showed you, and what I learned is that the people or the statues that are here are people who were involved in the Texas Revolution or in the Battle of the Alamo in one way or another, and their statues are here in order to honor them uh, for all the things that they contributed. And over here in the like mid section, you'll see the six flags flown over Texas. The flags of the nations who have governed Texas at one point or another. That's the US, that's Texas, that's the uh, Confederate, that's a Mexican flag, France, and Spain. Let's uh, move on guys. There's the directions to other places or other things that you can expect to see here. Film, there's bathrooms, concessions, there's the museum, and there's the exhibit. And the last thing we're gonna see today is the church over there. So I guess let's check out the film. I think I did hear about a movie that keeps being played continuously about the history of the Alamo. So let's go check it out. And the walls, but one by children and Travis's slave Joe, we allows to leave unharmed to tell the story of what happened. So one of the things that I heard from that movie is that Santa Ana left uh, like the woman, children, so that they could tell this story of how, like, how the Mexican army just like wrecked them at the Alamo. That's like the start of like a movie, you know? It's like vengeance. The Texan army came stronger than ever and they came back. Wow, do you guys check it out? This is like a little exhibit. It's like actors pretending to be like people from back in the day and stuff. So this one is a Republica de Mexico. Mm -hmm. So it's a single green palm if I was light infantry. Mm -hmm. And a single red palm if I was artillery or a grenadier. So that area over there, the living history encampment, is basically just a place where, where there's actors telling you about like the customs of back in the day, the way they were dressed, the mentality people had and the different tools that they used. It's actually very interesting and the people there are super friendly and they're willing to tell you a story, like history, but like in the way of a story. They made it very interesting and engaging. So this is a great place to bring the little ones. Okay, we're back here. What I wanna visit next is the Alamo exhibit. Let's find it. Okay, we're going in the right direction should be right over here. Thank you. No worries. That just freaking blew my mind. They had everything in there from uniforms to weaponry to like coins and like text. They have a history of like the very beginning of the mission, the reason why the Spanish created the missions here in the Americas and a lot more stuff that I couldn't tell you guys in this short video but it's definitely a place you don't want to miss. Now the goal is to head to the church and finally check it out but look at this line. I don't know how long that's gonna take now. I have to go all the way around I think. Not good guys. Not good. I made it to the end of the line, you guys. And I think I probably could have been one of the first ones. I left it for the end because I was like, oh, I can't really show it to you guys. But now I have to wait this long line. I think it's moving kind of fast, so probably won't take that long. I'll see you guys after I'm done with this little like tour of inside the church. I can't take my camera out, so I'll see you guys right after. So I just came out of you guys. Um, inside there they have more about like the history of the Alamo. The church, I thought it was gonna be bigger, like it looks bigger uh, when you're outside, but once you're in there, it's way smaller than you would believe. I think I've seen like a lot of the things that they have in there in other places right here. So I don't know how like well they're using that space, but uh, still it's cool to say that you were inside to an experience, so definitely go check it out. And just like that, we're back to where we started. I would strongly recommend uh, you visiting this place. You learn a lot about history, not just about Texas, but the US in general. You can share with family, friends, and even little kids. I'm leaving right now just because I wanna show you guys the river walk. This is another attraction that is very close to here, and I don't have a lot of time left. I'm taking a bus to my hometown in like two and a half hours, so I just have that time to go and check out the, the river walk. So let's see if I can make it and if I can show you anything cool.
my main objective with this is to um, go like on a boat ride. They have like boat rides that go through the river walk and then find something to eat. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do both just because it is kind of late and uh, time is of essence. Let's go down here. I see people down below. Some of the areas are not like blocked with anything. So if you're walking and you're not paying attention, you could fall there. You could be duck food or something. There's a map right here. I'm gonna try to see if I can get tickets. I think the Rio Taxi, which is the name of like the little boats, is on the other side. So I have to cross this bridge right here. Check out the view from up here, you guys. What about this side? So many ducks in this area. I was having trouble finding the Rio Taxi, so I ended up coming to Rio Rio. This restaurant, Rio Rio, was the first ever restaurant to be constructed here on the Riverwalk and is still here to this day. This is our menu, Tex-Mex, fitting as we are in San Antonio. I just ordered two street tacos. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh, they're asking it to wait. Hi guys, hello guys. That's gonna be me, that's my future, right there. I'll see you soon, boat. Check this out. I just ordered two tacos, but it comes with beans and rice. I did not know that. That's awesome. I'm gonna enjoy this real quick, you guys. I'll catch you guys right after. Hey guys, I was so hungry, I didn't realize this is not the Rio that I was talking about. I was talking about Casa Rio, and that is Rio Rio. I just saw Rio and I ended up going there. I guess I was too hungry to notice. It's definitely a Rio, but it's not the OG, the first restaurant that, to be here. You see, I just saw Rio over there, and I was like, well, that has to be. That was Rio Rio, not Casa Rio. Honestly, not a bad mistake to make, but if you want to go to the OG one, it's Casa Rio. Aha, I just found them, guys. They're right here. The line is pretty big as expected. Hopefully it goes fast though. That's my ticket you guys. Ready for this. This is gonna be epic guys. I can already see it. Thank you for your patience here in San Antonio on the San Antonio Riverwalk. Alright everybody, y'all ready to go? Yep. Yeah. Ready. I say y'all ready to go. Yeah. yeah. First of all, there's absolutely no smoking on the boat. Now, we're gonna begin our, our, our tour right here to my left in an area known as La Vida. La Vida, everybody in English, means a little village. This was the beginning of San Antonio's first neighborhood. Right here, on your boat driver's tour. Okay, cue the music. such a cool experience you guys but now I have to run oh my goodness guys I made it on time got my bags and I have more than enough time to get to the bus station I'm so happy and so relieved I just want to say you guys that I really enjoyed this video and bringing you guys along with me just makes it even a better experience for me hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you did I'm gonna ask you to please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this that's how you can tell me that you're enjoying the content anyways you guys I'm not gonna drag this any longer uh, really enjoy today peace out and always remember to be kind have an open mind I'll see you next time